I'm here to discuss uh, the hypothermia therapy in a patient who has just survived a cardiac arrest but haven't woken up. And they have a very severe prognosis. The thing is that uh, for many, many years, we just knew that these patients that didn't wake up after cardiac arrest, they had a very, very dismal prognosis. And various types of medicine and uh, treatment were tested in the, the end of the last century. And then suddenly in 2002, there were two smaller studies that suggested that cooling down patients for 24 hours, just down to 33 degrees Celsius, would really dramatically improve their outcome. And therefore, without further hesitations, within a year, it was recommended that these patients should always just be cooled. And within a uh, very few years, this was implemented over many parts of the world. And people stopped thinking about, did it really work or not? Uh, I think the reason they did what that was that they really want to help these patients and we'd had nothing else to offer them and then suddenly we uh, had something to offer them and it had that good thing that we all took much more care of these patients afterwards. And then finally we start to discuss, well, does it really work? We look closer to the data, we see there are problems in these studies and uh, then it's very difficult to do a trial against the guidelines. How could you do that? It's unethical. Mm -hmm. So it's a very difficult dilemma to go into. We then did a, a very large study comparing 33 to 36 degrees instead of just cooling. We couldn't completely let them without any cooling, but doing a dose response of 36 and 33, and so there was no difference at all. Then we simply now have to discuss whether it's time to do a new, more well done, complete trial. Does it work or not? And I think now we have the ethical ground to do that. There's been so many questions and it's time to do that trial. There's another issue to this, and that is that once you have something in the guidelines, it's extremely difficult to take it out again. You can take other examples from cardiologists. We have four large trials, really with the uh, artificial cardiac massage. The last trial had more than 4,000 uh, patients in it. They come out negative, but because we've already implemented these things, it's impossible to take it out. Aortic balloon pump has been here for 40 years. We have a big trial showing that it doesn't work, but we don't take it out. I think we as a community has to ask ourselves all the time, does it really work what we're doing? And if we are in doubt, we should still be testing. I think actually the most important thing we have to do right now regarding cardiac arrest patient that doesn't wake up is we do have to do a new pivotal trial demonstrating that hypothermia is better than nothing. And there's another area of research in that field that is, is it dangerous to get fever in the days to come after the cardiac arrest? We could also do a trial there. And finally, but not least, and this is not for cardiologists, this is mainly for neurologists or our collaboration. What do we do with the patient one or two weeks out when they need to do some rehabilitation? We are really on background there. We have no data at all.